welcome to Jamie Friend Colors. I'm Jamie and today I have some oil pastels to show you. Alright, happy Monday everyone. Um, I have a new tool that I have been playing with and enjoying and so I thought I would take this time, this opportunity to show you what they are. So these are the Gal Gallery Mungvo, I'll have it all linked down below, Artist Soft Oil Pastels. And these were fairly cheap, I'm thinking like 20 to 30 dollars for this set of 48 colors. And they're beautiful. So let me show you, I have some, well, I'll show you. Dun, 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 Ooh, so pretty. This is not the order that they came in, but it's the order that I like them in, so, you know. Okay, so I swatched them all for you, for me, and you'll see, I see out here. All right, so this is all of the, all 48 colors. And what I did was I swatched the color and then I used some odorless mineral spirits to um, dilute it or to blend it out because that's how I'm using it a lot as backgrounds in my coloring book pages. Um, I've done a few different plays with um, the pastels, so let me get them for you. Okay, so let me show you a little bit what I've been doing with the pastels so you can see. So uh, first, I laid down, I saw somewhere, I don't know, someone said something somewhere. So I decided to try it. And I laid down a um, layer of clear gesso on the page and then I put my oil pastels down and I, this was my first attempt. So this whole page is oil pastels and with a little bit of colored pencil on it, not a whole lot, just the tiniest little bit. So it's very gritty, very grainy. And so I'm not sure that I liked the clear gesso on it, but I really liked how the mountains came out and the sky was pretty cool. I put too much black in the smoke and so I was trying to fix that. So that, that's not my favorite, but again, this was my first attempt with the oil pastels. So I decided, all right, let's try this again. And so I laid down some clear gesso and this time I sanded the gesso so that it wasn't um, grainy. So it was a little more smooth. It still had that layer of gesso, but it was smooth. So, um, this is all, I, this is, the little things are pencil, but every, the wave, the sky, everything is oil pastel. The oil pastel in the background, I did not use mineral spirits in. I just rubbed it and blended it with my finger. And yeah, and then the water I did with the uh, mineral spirit, the odorless mineral spirits. And I like this one. I like that it's not so grainy. I did appreciate that. Um, so I thought it was better, a better attempt. And then I did one more with, I don't know where I got it in my head that we needed clear gesso. So I decided one more try with the gesso. And this is from, um, wild two, I believe, of the Bennett Klein's books. And it's a grayscale picture. And I put the gesso down and I sanded it and it wrinkled this paper so bad. So bad. I ended up ironing <laughs> this page after I had like gessoed it. I and it dried all the way. I put a piece of cloth over it, turned it upside down, put a piece of cloth over it, and I ironed it, trying to get it flat again. 
<laughs> it was so bad. So I was like, okay, cool. I got it. I sanded it. All right. And then I did the pastel. I did the whole picture in oil pastels. And um, it's a very soft look. And when I was done, I realized that I had lost a lot of the definition around the front. You can see it around the flowers. There's not a lot of definition around the flowers. And so I went back in with a dip pen and outlined the frog to kind of bring him back to life. And then I really liked the page. Before I was like, eh, it's kind of muddy. I don't know if I like it. But when I put that black outline around that frog again and brought him out, I really think it's a beautiful page and that the, it's so soft and very pretty. And I do like that about it. So I decided, all right, I'm liking this a little more each time. So then I decided, do we really need that clear gesso down? <laughs> Where did I get this idea from that I needed this? And do I really need that? And so I did this one. This is from Mermaids and Friends by Christian Glorious Inc. And I did not put gesso on this. And I just did the background with the oil pastels. And it blended out just fine. And there was no grit, no problem. It was beautiful. So I don't know if it depends on the paper. Maybe if you're using a thinner paper, you want that gesso. I don't know, I haven't decided. Because this blended out with the Gamsol or the um, Odorless Mineral Spirits just fine. So I don't know where I got that idea that I needed the clear gesso, but maybe I don't. So anyways, take it for what it's worth. Do your own experiments. Um, Yes, so let me show you some pastel stuff. We won't do a picture today, but um, I might do some background videos as well. I'm kind of thinking in the future, and so we'll use these definitely for some backgrounds. But let me show you what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, so this is just mixed media paper. It has no clear gesso. I'm not going to bother with that tonight because I don't think I need it. I need to. So let's try this. So I have pink, and I'm going to lay down some pink, and then I'm going to lay down some vermilion. I'm going to go over the pink a little bit, maybe bring the pink down here a little bit, put down a nice. So these are not like soft pastels and they're not like pan pastels at all. They're very creamy. Whereas the soft pastels and pan pastels are chalky, these are very creamy. And so this time I'm just going to use the friction of my finger here. Maybe I'll put a little white at the top as well. I'll put some white in here. Okay. So I'm going to start the here and I'm gonna work my way that way so this is just my finger I'm like how beautiful that is for a background and a coloring page it's beautiful I, I love it so nice um, my only issue with backgrounds and a coloring book with this technique is that it's hard to get in the little tiny areas. So that was one reason I was playing with the odorless mineral spirits. So let me show you that. So <clears throat> I'm using, I'm going to use brushes that are for oil paints because I think they'll hold up the best. So these are Simply Simmons. They were fairly cheap. They were like the level one or the, the lowest level, whatever it is, at Michael's for oil paints. And they are working very well. Okay, so let me grab, let's do a different color combination. Let's do, what's this? This is, okay, let's see. This is Prussian Blue. And 
And then this is ultramarine blue. We'll overlap it a little bit. And this I think is sky blue. We'll put some white at the top just to blend into, lighten it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to take, I put my odorless mineral spirits in another jar and just put a little tiny bit in there because you don't need much. So I'm dipping my pen, my paintbrush in it and then I'm tapping my paintbrush off so that it's a fairly dry brush. Okay, I'm actually going to start. I don't know. Let's start from the top this time. And it almost turns into paint. So you're you're painting it and then you can push it into those little tiny spots in your books. And then <laughs> there we go, see? So pretty. So pretty. And then the mineral spirits just cleans your brush. So that you're ready for whatever next color you want. And you can, I think, I didn't have any problem with it. Let's see. I think you can go back, put some more color on there. So this is more ultramarine, that middle color. Wanted a better blend there. I think I can put some more on there. Let's see. So it might lift the color a little bit, but so don't press too hard. But but yeah, that seems to work. So I think both techniques are really pretty. I like doing with the brush just so I can get in those little tiny areas. But I love the blend that you get with your fingers too. Like it's just gorgeous. Um, another way you could blend them is with a paper stump if you didn't want to use your finger because your finger there's friction so it does get hot so let's try a paper stump one of these guys let's see how he does Push this up a little bit. Let's do, hmm, let's do some greens this time. So this is dark green. Let's even put some black at the bottom. And then this is emerald green. And grass green. And then let's put this one, this is lime green. Okay. And then we'll take a dry paper stump. This is dry and clean. And let's go from the top down this time. This for the fun <laughs> I'm gonna flip to a clean side and just kind of go up now, see if that how that goes. I'm blending those edges. Oh my goodness. 
so pretty the grass look how pretty that is oh i love these these are so much fun i'm having so much fun playing with a new medium okay let's try let's try carmine i'm gonna put it over here carmine and i just curious i'm just curious Let's do the opposite and see if they'll gray each other out. Let's see. Um, dark green. Okay, green. Let's do grass green on this side. Let's see. And if we kind of overlap them a little bit. A little more of that carmine. Okay, and let's just use our finger. Hi. Hello, mister. Hi. Ooh, that did that grade right out, didn't it? Oh, cool. Okay, so then let's do ones that will make a new color. Let's see. If we take, hmm, let's take Carmine again. Come up here this time. Let's take Carmine again. Put Carmine down. And then let's take some ultramarine blue. I don't know how this, how much this will work because it's, I don't know. Okay, let's see overlap it a little bit and see if we get a purple. I don't know. I've never done this. Okay. So I'm not, well, it's purple on my finger, but it's more it's purple. It's just kind of a grayish purple, which is probably because of the color of the carmine, but That's it. let's try, let's do, let's do, let's try a blue and a yellow. Let's see if we take cobalt blue. I'll just put a little bit of cobalt blue and then we'll take some yellow. Oh yeah, you're gonna get some green in there. That'll be fun. Look at that. Just fun to play with. Cool, cool. So awesome, we've got a new tool, lots of different ways we can use it. I think we'll have to play with this for backgrounds.
All right, so there is a background in oil pastels. And like I said, I'm like, I'm new to this. So it might not be perfect, but I'm sure I will learn more things like, I think I definitely want to be more directional with my strokes in this area. You know, like make sure I'm using my brush in the way I want it to go. Sky. So, I think the more we practice with it, the better we'll get, and the better uh, blends we'll learn. Just like we do with our pencils, we learn how it how it works. But I think it looks beautiful. I think they're an awesome um, medium to do backgrounds with. So, anyways, there is kind of my review and whatever what I've been playing with lately, um, just to kind of. Because I like to have something new to play with. I get bored. So <laughs> I have to have something new once in a while. And this has been it the last couple of weeks. So anyways, oil pastels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, check out the link below. They were really fairly cheap. I was kind of surprised at how well they worked for the price. So um, yeah, check it out or not. Your choice. <laughs> and I will see you guys on Wednesday for we'll go back to a color wheel um tutorial on Wednesday and Friday so come back for that and I will see you guys next time bye